and sit down. Hello, gang, Colin here, Festa 67's workshop, and welcome, welcome, welcome to issue number seven of Build the Legendary Cyborg Robocop. Yes, folks, we've had another delivery from the wonderful, wonderful folks over at Fanhome, fanhome.com. If you would like to get a link for this Robocop, it's just appearing on the screen right there. This will take you over to the Fanome website where you can order your very own Robocop and build along with me. So let's have a looky kins, folks, as to what we've got in this month's magazine. First up, you've got the strong chin of the law, an almost unknown actor in the lead role. There was an action movie boom in the late 1980s and the highest paid stars in the film industry were no longer appearing in westerns and war dramas. The team that made Robocop took a crucial decision not to go with a well-known star. The modest production took a bet on a lesser known actor for the role. Yes, a Mr. Peter Weller. And I think he couldn't have played the role any better. I think he was the perfect choice for this film. So it just goes to show you. And there you go. There's loads and loads of blurb in the magazine. So give these a read, folks. They really are worth it. And he'd done everything. They evolved the way the robot walked and how he moved about, how he moved his arms, his legs, and all of that lot. There's lots and lots of blurbage and info about this, folks. So we've got some bits and pieces there uh, that we're going to be doing today. And we're doing the right shoulder, folks. Yes. So we are doing this little bit up here today. Now, if you remember, previous issues, we have done bits and pieces on the arm. So we'll be bringing them into shot shortly so that we can start attaching all of this together. So we are getting to that stage, folks. And it then shows you here, which I like, what you've built in, in the stages so far, like his head, his chest panels, and this is what we're up to today. Okay, got some assembly tips there. Uh, conservation, properly store the already assembled parts in supply screws in a safe place. You can use them in the following stages. Well, I'm actually going to be dedicating a shelf space on my shelving to the left that I'm going to line with some of these cloths. And that's where I'm going to be storing my part works in progress, folks. Here's an example of the finished model. Is a meticulous reproduction of the original character, complete in every single detail. And it really does look really suave, doesn't it? Uh, Karakuri Automata is the mechanized puppets for art and entertainment. And there's some bits and pieces there on the Japanese artists that build these wonderful little automatons. And they are beautiful. If you're ever in Japan, have a look at some of these places. You'll quite often see a little stall in the street or a little antiquities type shop and in there are automatas and the guys that make them. Pop and say a hi and uh, have a looky loo because I think you'll be amazed. There is a museum somewhere in the UK with automaton in and I can't think where it is but it is about, there you go. Uh, this is the 3D games of explosion going right back to the early days of when gaming kicked in and yeah all the different games cards and a little brief history there of what life was like in the era that this film came out in just to give you an idea of why we became so obsessed with technology and, and all of that lot because it was all in its infancy back then and then like i say this movie came along and it kind of blew all of this away didn't it and yeah, it just gives you the uh, evolution and then game engines, how they've evolved right up until the modern day. There's a little bit of RoboVision for you there. So that's the close of the magazine for now. So we're going to start purely and simply by dropping this over at the back so that we can see what we're going to be up to today. And I rest that at the back there and have a look again. First things first, let's get me oil out because I've gone, gone slightly different in this issue. I've managed to get myself a little oiler at last. So we'll, we'll be testing that today to see how we get on. I'm just going to grab the rest of the part, but which is just to the side here. 
Right, so let's get the bits and bobs ready for where we want them. So you push fit this little bit of plastic there into the top of this arm section like so. Just a little resistance fit, that's all that is. And then we bring in the piece from the previous issue, which was all of this lot. And we want to bring that in and we put in two of the CM screws in this, folks. So we just want to line that up to make sure that these pieces go there like that. And that engages into this little semicircle there. Goes in there like that. And then you'll see it perfectly lines up in the bottom there. And then grab a bit of this and some of that. And then we'll get the little oiler out and we'll have a play with that today. So let's just stand that up there. And this puts a single drop of oil on the thread, folks. Just like that. And then when I put it in, just oils it up enough to go straight in there. Like that. Job done. Have you some of that. And, uh, been using three and one up till now but I just thought I'd give this a little try and it's got three and one oil in it uh, it just lets me put a single drop of oil on the thread there just hold it in my good hand like that there you go nice little drop of oil and then I'll pop that straight in there and let that do its thing and then I can turn these now right the way home because I want these to bite because this ain't ever coming off of here again. So I can really go to town on them. There you go. And that gives you that, which I think looking rather nice, isn't it? Look at that. Whoa. See? And then we've got this section there. So you want to put this to one side now, ready for the next issue. Just make sure there's nothing there. But that now gives you this complete upper bicep, if that's what you want to call it, and deltoid shoulder region, ready with the internal rubber part. In the next issue, we'll then be putting some bits and pieces on there, folks. So we're going to park that for now. Leave that there so that you could all see it in its crowning glory. And there is a bit of upper armage. I'm going to put that back on there. Don't forget, if you want to grab one of these for yourself, head over to Fan Home, folks. Link is on the screen just in front of you. And you too can start building along with me your very, very, very own Robocop, folks. So until the next time, stay safe. I'll see you on the next issue. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.